All right guys, so today we're gonna to be repacking a hydraulic cylinder. As you can see, I've already got the gland nut and on the opposite end of the piston already taken apart. That part's pretty straightforward. You know, I took the, took the ram off the machine, uh, unscrewed the gland nut. Usually these screw on or screw off. This one happens to have a band that goes inside the cylinder to hold everything together. So that part's pretty straightforward. This is literally the guts of it all. So this particular ram is off of <clears throat> a Toro Dingo 220. And this is the seal kit that we have laid out here. Here's our part number, 105-8356. These are genuine Toro parts from our friends over at Pro Parts Direct. Check them out. So to accomplish this, of course, we're going to need our, our seal kit. We're going to need a little pick tool. And then we're going to need one of these seal twisters. We'll get, we'll get to what this does later on. All right. So we're going to start from the bottom of the cylinder and then work our way up. So when the cylinder is assembled, this is the top and this goes on the bottom and then you have your ram that runs to these two pieces this is bolted to the bottom so I went ahead and I set up our seal kit components in the order that they that they are fitted to our components here and go ahead and get these all swapped out all right so I forgot to mention I'm using a little bit of oil just to lube up our uh, seals before they go back in, so they don't go in dry. So we're going to go ahead and start from the bottom. Uh, this O-ring here goes onto the ram itself that seals uh, this piece to the ram. So I'll just set that aside for now. We'll go ahead and get this plastic band here off. Okay, we'll match it up with this one. Make sure everything fits. Go ahead and give this a quick wipe. Get a little bit of oil on there. Put our new plastic band on. Put a little bit of oil on that. We don't have to go crazy with the oil. Just a little, just a little film on there. All right. Next on the list. So this blue ring takes the place of this here yellow ring. We'll use our pick tool. Sometimes it might be a little tricky to get out. Especially this, they're all hard and brittle. There we go. And behind this is that their black O-ring. It's a good idea to, as you're taking thing, as you're taking these apart, set the old pieces, and match up the old pieces with all of your new components. Yeah, this one's a little tricky to get out because it's kind of deep in there. So let's go ahead and take this guy out. We got our new O-ring. I'm just going to wipe a little bit of oil on it. Again, we don't have to go crazy with it. We'll go ahead and walk this seal on. And just like that. Right. I'll take our blue seal. Now this one's a little bit stiffer, so I'm going to be careful that we don't break this one. Alright, go ahead and put some oil on that one. And same thing, we'll just very carefully just go ahead and carefully walk it on. Just go around 
make sure she's seated. All right, takes care of this piece. Set this one aside. Now the gland nut, this goes at the top of the cylinder, has four seals in it. We have these two O-rings here. We have a wiper seal and inside here, we have another cup seal, which you can see right inside here. Oh. That's the one that failed. So hydraulic oil was just pouring past that seal. All right, and we'll go ahead and take care of this one. Same thing, we'll use our pick tool. Remove the seal and then again, you want to lay it with our new components. So nothing gets lost. I'm gonna go wipe that channel out there. Land that's got a lot of staining on it from the steel band that goes around it. The steel band goes in this groove. Make sure you move as much of the crud as we can. You're not ever going to get it all off. Anyway, I want to make sure there's no dirt or anything where these brand new seals are about to go. on this flat ring first. I'm just gonna hold it and just carefully stretch that one on. That one goes at the top. We'll use our tool here. Make sure it's seated against the top. Okay. Oops. O-ring, we're gonna lube that up real quick. Same thing. I'm gonna hold down the the flat the flat ring here. Just guide that one right between. And just lock it on. Just like that. That takes care of the bottom part of that. I'm gonna take a screwdriver. Sometimes, if these get stuck in there, usually I pry it out with a screwdriver, but let's see if I can get it with the pick. Usually these pop right out. There we go. There's our old wiper seal, and it's, as you can see, it's starting to get hard. It's not terrible, but this is the uh, part of the, the seal here. This lip wipes off any uh, excess oil that's left on the ram. It's blurry. Show it again. It's, it's blurry, Tyson, because you kept moving. So this is our wiper seal. This off and take a look at that. This is basically what keeps all the dirt and crud from getting into the cylinder. This uh, lip right here is getting a little, uh, it's still a little bit pliable, but you know, it's starting to get a little stiff. You know, happens with age. Here's our new one, a little softer. That one, this one will come out first. And now the tricky one is getting this here cup seal out and because of how deep it is in there. So we'll do it with our hook tool. And because the seal is cracked, I may not be able to 
grab it on this side. So we'll try and find a spot that's not cracked. Get our tool in there and usually this seal just pops right out. There we go. And as you can see, it's all brittle. And right here, this is the part that failed. ahead and install our cup seal again very important take some clean oil wipe some oil around this and then when we push the ram back through this slide through with ease now this is where this tool comes in handy now you can do it without this tool but it's very difficult so to use this tool it's very simple we're going to take our cup seal. I remember that this cup faces down. So we're going to take this seal. We're going to push this seal up here onto our tool. And then we're going to use the handlebars, as we call them. It'll twist the seal into like this pretzel shape. And now it's small enough to fit inside of our bore. So we're going to lower this in. Oops. Okay. Squeeze it tight as we can and we're going to just lower it in. We're going to stick one side into the groove there, release the tool and pull it out. And then just walk the seal in the rest of the way. Just like that. All right. And last but not least, we're gonna install our new wiper seal. Yeah, make sure there's no gunk in there. Go ahead and lube up our seal. And then this one simply. Just like that. There we go. So now all we have left to do is go install this O-ring over there onto the ram and then slide all this stuff back together. Alright. Now before we get back to reassembling this ram. We have to change out this here O-ring. So this is a pretty straightforward one. Let's use our pick tool. Pop it out. Like so. Now a new one. There we go. Okay, then our next component to go back on, our gland nut. Okay, you wanna carefully get it over the threads. Just for good measure, we'll go ahead and shaft there. Take that any way you want. And we'll just carefully, there we go, walk our gland nut down. Okay. 
and the cap. Notice how there's a flat side and there's a dished side. This dished side sits right here, right over this O-ring. So go ahead and do that now. Push. There we go. And then we'll get our nut. Um, the easiest way to do this is to use an impact. Go ahead and throw our nut on. Right. An inch and a half. Just like that. Now the only thing left to do we're going to go ahead and insert this in, this whole assembly back into the cylinder. We're going to put our retaining ring back in and we're going to tighten up the gland nut. All right, and now all this gets to go back together. We're simply going to line this up. Sometimes you have to give a few love taps, as in this case. In which case you don't want to be whacking on this. I'll grab a block of wood. All right. It doesn't have to go all the way down. Now we're going to go ahead and just uh, got this little window where the band goes in. We'll line up our gland nut. Oh, looks like they want to go down. Huh. Sure. Again, I couldn't find any smaller piece of wood. <laughs> And there you have it. All you got left to do is plug in our band. And then, just like we're screwing in a traditional gland nut, we'll twist this, it'll suck the band in, and then it, she's all good to go.